As the investigation into the Boston bombings continues, area marathon organizers and their host cities are already hard at work coming up with security measures to prevent similar attacks. One thing is clear, many of the community events that we see, marathons or otherwise, are going to change. Some refer to the Boston Marathon as the granddaddy of all marathons, but its descendants are many, including races like the Freihoffers run for women in Albany and the Turkey Trot in Troy, cities that are already considering ways to step up security. We're not only going to have to look at the mindset of what to do for future races, but we're going to have to look at the events that municipalities commonly host. In Troy, festivals are commonplace. Captain John Cooney says security at such events has been the talk of the department today, and things will change, even at the turkey trot. Imagine a run with restrictions on backpacks. A backpack is a runner's number one piece of gear that they come and go with to any event like that. Uh, this will bring huge change uh, and it will also require great tolerance on the part of the public. We rely on them to tell us what to do. George Regan, event director for the Freihoffers Run for Women in Albany, says after 9-11, a host of new security protocols were put in place. But this is a different scenario, an attack directly on a race. He says it's nearly impossible to pinpoint every potential threat. How do I answer that question? It could be anything, you know, but uh, my, my point is, is that I think it's incumbent on every event planner or manager to come up with a plan to work with their public safety officials and to, to develop a comprehensive plan to keep the public safe and to keep the participants of that event safe. One of those potential threats in both Troy and Albany, vacant properties that often line the race routes. Vacant properties along a, a race route are problematic, but to be frank, they're just as problematic as the occupied properties. We can't get into a position where we're forcibly searching or, or checking every single porch, every single parked car on the route. It's just not practical for a municipality.